Everyone, here in front of us, we have both a natural diamond and a lab diamond from James Allen. And I'm not going to tell you which one is which just yet. I want to do a blind comparison, and I want you to see if you can tell a difference between the natural diamond and the lab diamond. This first clip is taken outdoors. It's a little bit overcast, a little bit of sun in the sky, but mostly overcast, and the diamonds look amazing. This next clip is indoors with both fluorescent and LED lighting. It's actually taken in my kitchen because there's really good lighting in the kitchen. But I have a macro lens so you can really see the details of the diamonds. You can even see the imperfections. One of these is an SI1 and the other is a VS2. So there are some imperfections in the diamond. And when I get this macro lens, you can actually see them here. So a very detailed shot. Um, moving back over to the outdoor view, this is one of my favorites, favorite clips that I have here. These things just look absolutely amazing. This is the type of weather where when you have your ring outside, you know, uh, if you're wearing it, people are going to catch little glimpses of light, little sparkles and shimmers, and the brilliance of the diamond is really going to come out. Um, this is some fantastic lighting. And as you can see from this video, at least in my opinion, they look very, very similar to one another. And if you guys have visited my channel before, I've made quite a few videos about lab diamonds versus natural diamonds. And you know that my opinion is that you really can't tell a difference. The only time that you can really tell a difference is if a lab diamond has a slight blue hue to them. And if that is the case, it will say it in the diamond report if the, di the lab diamond does have a blue hue. But other than that, if you get a good lab diamond, which there are tons of good lab diamonds out there, um, you are gonna have a very hard time telling a difference. And that is why in this video, I really like comparing these side by side because you can see just how similar they really look. And, and, and why is this important? Well, it's fantastic for someone who's buying an engagement ring because they have the option of going with a lab diamond and spending a lot less on their diamond than if they went with a natural. Now, does that mean that people shouldn't buy or shouldn't buy natural diamonds? Not at all, because there's a lot of people out there when they buy a diamond, one of the things that they love about a natural diamond is the fact that it was created in the earth. All right. Some people love that. It's the rarity. It's the fact that this was created in the earth and it's this beautiful diamond. And for those types of people that are really, really love the origin of where their diamond came from, a natural diamond is going to be their choice. It's what makes that diamond special to them. And then there's also groups of people who really the origin of their diamond doesn't matter to them and they more so like the aesthetic, right? They like the shimmer. All the, all the little sparkles that the diamond has, the brilliance of the diamond, that's what they're all about. They don't so much care about the origin. They would rather have the aesthetic, the size, and just the bigger diamond overall for their budget. And if that's the case, a lab diamond is a fantastic way to go. Okay, so let's get to the result. The diamond on the left, that is a 2.16 carat, $7,000 lab diamond. The diamond on the right, that is a 1.1 carat, $7,300 natural diamond. So that's right. The ring on the right is actually slightly more expensive than the ring on the left because the ring on the right is a natural diamond. The ring on the left is a lab diamond. Now, this is a great video because you can really see the difference in size that you can get between the two diamonds. But then you can also see from the video that they look very similar to one another in terms of aesthetic. They both look absolutely fantastic. So it's up to you to decide for your budget, would you rather go with a larger lab diamond or a smaller natural diamond? And this comparison being that they're both $7,000 diamonds is a great way to show just what you can get for your money. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love doing these natural diamonds versus lab diamonds because they look so similar to one another. And it's just so interesting to see the difference in price and size and just really what your money can get you with two different types of diamonds. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I will have the specifics to each diamond down in the video description. If you guys want to see the color, the clarity and all of that, I will put that down in the video description. I will also have a link to James Allen's website down in the video description as well. So if you want to check out engagement rings from James Allen, I will have a link down in the video description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And until next time, guys, be sure to check out my channel for some more diamonds comparisons, and we will see you in the next video. Take care and good luck on your ring shopping.